Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we finished up on Vermeer, so now we're actually going to have to start figuring out where we want to go so we can go to the next Divine Beast. But there's a few other things that we're probably going to do beforehand, so let's get started by going in this direction, which is slightly different from the way we came. And if you couldn't tell by the marker on my map, we're going to be heading towards another tower, since we've only got a few left to do. It shouldn't take too long to get them done. Let's well, actually get going, you know. Also, I believe that nearby here somewhere is another stone talus. I want to... I might take a look at taking it out, just so I can get some more reward. Some more roops. Uh, boulders? Okay. I think it's slightly in this uh, cool area over here. Just a little bit. I don't know how nearby, though. Is it that? Didn't activate. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's. I'm pretty sure it's there's one around here. I might have passed it. Oh, get off! There's a uh, a nut in that tree there that I want to shoot. So let's go ahead and shoot that. And got a Korok that's on fire! Burn! 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 Okay. Let's, act uh, let's mark that off. <laughs> okay. Enough burning Koroks, let's go to the tower, which shouldn't be that far away, except uh, it's not... Sh oh, it's there. Cool. I can see it now. I'm no longer blind. I can see the tower. Is that someone on the road? Well, not for much longer. They sound like they're in a lot of pain. It's fine. Oh, turning. Now, is there any more Koroks around here that I should know about? Possibly? But I'm not entirely sure. Let me just skip past all this in the ruins here. I mean, there's probably Koroks in there somewhere, but I'm just going to leave that for now. Now, the tower's off to our... Uh, off to the side here. So I might get off of John for a bit. Let's head up this way. Now, there's a lot of ice around here that we need to actually melt to to climb up. Or or we go over here, press X to jump, hold it down, and we just go up. We could have made an updraft with fire as well to do that, but this works too, so why not? Now we're in a pretty good position with this tower to actually do a few other things as well. Let's just head up and activate it. Okay, now that that's done, we can see that shrine down there, but I'm pretty sure we've already marked that shrine. We'll have a look at that in a minute, probably. There's also that shrine over there, and another stable. Okay, well, that's a pretty good point for now. So, let's just jump off of here and glide across this huge gap, and see what we can do in this direction. And actually... Um, yeah, there's quite a few things around here that we can do. A lot of area to explore. I should probably get that shrine across here. If 
I can. I don't know how long this stamina is going to last. If it can last all the way, that would be impressive. I don't think it will. I'm not getting close enough to the ground. Although I might. That shrine's getting fairly close now. But I like how you can just glide across here. And just not even worry about it. From the tower. It means you can get to that stable fairly fast. Otherwise, now that we have this shrine, we can teleport to this shrine and get to the stable. Oh, stamina! How I long for the... Oh, stamina. Yeah, I wouldn't have made it. But that's okay, But because now I have stamina, I can just run. <laughs> it's just a lot more work for Link. Poor Link. Making him run all around Hyrule. You know, I should probably have marked this marker as, like, a thing that would just disappear automatically once I got here, but I didn't, so I, it's fine. Well, there's the end. Let's go. <laughs> that would have been really funny. Um, it looks like we need to take this orb places. Maybe the movies or something like that. Let's see how this is going to work. I think it's going to go basically on its own. Oh, I'm in the pit. I'm in the pit. I want to go with it if I can. Oh, it's back. Oh, come back, come back, come back. Don't go flying, please. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh, I see. Let me make sure I don't drop the orb into oblivion. Please. Why don't I just drop it in there? Okay, let's hit this. Which rotates this. Let's hit that again. And then one more time. Oh, I fell off. That's no good. Especially because there's a treasure, 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 treasure chest. There's a, there's a treasure. There's a treasure chest that I could have got if I was better. Err. Uh, nope. 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 Ah. Why have, why have I done this to myself? Why? I can never forgive myself. Um, can I? No, I probably don't want to do that. That's going to be a waste of arrows. I could throw bombs at it. Maybe. I don't know. Also, I don't think you can use uh, your special champion abilities inside of the shrines. You might be able to. But I don't think so. Please land up there. Thank you. A thunder blade. A magical sword forged? I'm pretty sure I've... No, we haven't seen that before. Also, I needed to drop something, but that's okay. Magical sword forged and refined by lightning from the Hyrule Hills. When the blade shines with a golden light, it will electrocute enemies struck by it. Okay, All Might, you can go away now. <laughs> Hope has arrived because I am here. That's, that's the one time I'm going to do that. Never again. I'm sorry. I mean, it's funny. But that's the one time you're going to get that. Anyway, let's move on. Um, I'm guessing I probably have a picture of this already. Yeah. But I don't know if I have of the Thunderblade. That's the real way to find out if I've done the thing or not. Oh, what a screenshot. I love it when you screenshot something at the perfect time and get a really cool picture. Anyway now, I think I need to use a square probably to send it flying. So let's do that and then boom. Cool. Now let's just drop the orb in here please. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh there's a ladder here. Good. A convenient ladder. For all your ladder climbing needs. Anyway, let's drop that in there. That opens up that door. And also this one, so. 
Got all the chests in this shrine already, that's pretty good, let's go. Okay, All Might's back in his closet. Uh, let's see. Actually, there was one thing I wanted to try, I believe. Which is, back over here. Because we have 11 heart containers now. Almost 12. Because I want to get... I want to get the... I want to get it now. Basically. Let me just switch up my clothing a little bit. I have to look epic for the cutscene, guys. I have to look just right. And that is basically the only reason I am changing my armor. Because I want it to look cool, alright? You, you, you you're going to pick up the Master Sword once. You have to make sure you're wearing the correct outfit. Well, that's a shame. Guess I have to let All Might play for the rest of the game. All Might could pull the Master Sword. Oh my goodness, now I want that crossover where All Might has the Master Sword. Oh, that would really be great. Just, just picturing All Might with the Master Sword. Oh. Okay, well I'm gonna switch shields so I don't break my one-of-a-kind shield. And I guess I'll use my mind's eye. Oh, careful. And let's shield surf all the way down this way. Because I can. It's a little bit faster than just running or gliding. Ooh, hello. Gotta grab that, just because I can. Free materials are free materials, after all. Now, is there... I want to find it on my own, dog. You cannot stop me. <sighs> There's something back there. I think it's a sledgehammer. But I think... Turn around, maybe? No. Sledgehammer. Need to make sure I go around the stable in both directions, because... That's what got me last time, was I went the wrong direction. And then it was just... Super see easy to see. Super easy. Um, oh, it's a thunderstorm. I should probably change my equipment so I don't die. Ooh. <laughs> actually, I'm fine. That's actually perfect. Let's grab that flint, which is good to have, since we need more of that. And let's see, round these hay bales, maybe? Although, maybe somewhere else. Hmm. Gotta grab some of these Endora shrooms. I really... Don't know if I need to feed the dog or not. It feels like I might. It feels like I all might. <laughs> okay, that's gonna. I really need to stop that. Um, doggo. I've. I give up. Show me the the gift. I don't have much meat. I might not have enough meat. Please. 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 Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're going around in circles because you don't know how to pick up something that's right in front of you if it's right right in front of you. I hope this is enough meat. And I hope I didn't waste that because I could have just found it on my own. Maybe. Oh, nope. Not enough. Ah. Uh, Oh, I don't want to use my gourmet meat. Let's go prime meat. Take, take, take meat. I give meat and you take meat. Ah, <gasps> it's working. Where is it? Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm pretty sure it only appears if you pay the dog now. There's two dogs. 
Which, which... Please don't tell me there's two treasure chests. Okay, 300 rupees. That's a fairly good trade. Fairly good. But how did... I don't know. Like, there's a wave of the red that goes along when you do anything. And I guess that could have been just how it is. Let me take a picture of that. If I can. Just gonna squeeze in here and take a picture. Um, do I want to talk to Beetle for arrows? Probably. I've been using a bit too many just regular arrows. Wow! <gasps> a rocket rhino beetle in your inventory. I just love those. Can you trade the oh, for a vegetable omelette? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> just. That's a quite a sound you made there. Back to business. Uh, what have you got? <laughs> So I just don't know anymore. Take them all. Okay. Oh. Let's grab those as well. And thank you for your business, Speedle. I will go now. There's a few side quests to pick up here, if I could see them. My theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times were extinct due to a violent volcanic eruption. My theory is the, that the Leviathans of ancient times were extinct due to a sudden climactic drought long ago. Aww. My theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times were extinct due to a, an ancient, ex, an extended ice age. Hmm? Oh, pardon me. I've gotten ahead of myself. <clears throat> Why did the Leviathans go extinct? That is the question we scientists are trying to answer. However, we uh, haven't yet located any Leviathan remains, so we're stuck with theories for the time being. But we do have a, gen a general idea of where such remains might be found. The Elden Mountains in the north, uh, northeast, the Heba region in the northwest, and the Gerudo region in the southwest. The climates of these regions are rather extreme. You've got the look of someone who's done a fair bit of adventuring. Would you be willing to find these leviathan bones and draw a picture with them? What I especially want to see is the, la is the head of the animal. If you can get just a bit of, of it in the picture, that'd be adequate. Do this for me and I'll give you 300 rupees as a reward. Leave it to me. Excellent. You're a lifesaver. In the most literal sense. I'll be waiting here with your 300 rupees. So that seems like a pretty good thing to do. And it seems that was the only quest here. Now, let's talk to you. Welcome, welcome. How can I help? I want to take horse. Let's go with Jack for uh, now. Since it's been a while. Just a little bit. It's just been like... I don't know, actually. It's been a while, though. Okay, let's go. Okay. So now I want to head to that other red marker that I placed. Since we can do that now. Oh, please stay on the path. Yeah. This path loops all the way around. Even back to the tower. So we should be fairly good. So just keep on that. As long as we don't have anything in the way to stop us, and we don't get struck by lightning. That would also be good. It shouldn't strike us, but yeah. Oh, just gonna jump over rocks. This is, uh, interesting. Oh, is there going to be another Korok in this, this log? Hold up, hold up, hold it, hold up. Oh my goodness, let's just switch arrows quickly, and then let's shoot this. Another Korok, of course. Now, which region is this? I think we're in the forest region. Let's mark that off, there we go. Let's keep moving. Back on the road. Gonna go to the place. Gonna have a good face. 
and no disgrace. And we're going at a fast pace. This has been rhyming. <laughs> the hour, our rhyming hour with Blue Toad, apparently. Anyway. Some more travelers on the road to run over. Except they're on horses as well, so that's not going to work. Excuse me. Cut me through. It's not you, it's- Why is there so many travelers? Oh my goodness. We're at the edge of something here. I think this is just a small mountain thing. It's not part of Death Mountain, but it's here. Shield surfing, man! Is that? Now that doesn't go. That's not another path. That's just another. That's just a turn off, random pathway. Everything's a pathway if you think if you think about it. Oh, that's cold. Let me let me dress more appropriately. Let's put that on and let's go with that and that. Cool. It is two levels of cool cold, so we needed two things to stay warm. Also, I like the way that the the this armor works. I don't can't remember what it's called. What is it called? The snow quill armor. I like how it looks. Is that a talus? No, that's just a an animal of some kind. We'll probably see more of them around. Let's see if we can get to this. Uh, what's it called? Shrine. Well, there's the stable. Okay. Let's just stop here. And get off. And let's have a look around quickly. There's a little glowing... That's a lan lantern. Okay. Okay then. Let's go to the the the, the shrine then. Let's go. Directing the wind. Not the gas. The wind. Okay, well... What am I... What am I doing here? It looks like... I need to block up certain... Wind things. But which ones? Where am I trying to get this to go? Let's... Let me think about this. So... What am I trying to... I'm trying to get... The orb into there. Somehow. So, I think I just need to block up this one more over here. Literally block it up. There, just like in there, please. Thank you. That should work out fairly well. Oh, I need to get the orb to move. Wait. Why couldn't the. Okay. Ah, everything's fine. I'm just getting confused by the. 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 the why the orb needs to roll. There's probably a reason for it. Now, that, that reason is probably because I need to be standing on this platform when it shoots up randomly. And suddenly. So. Let's just go up here and drop that away. Let's see if that worked. Well, there we go. Now, did I do this as I was supposed to? That is the question that I have now. Don't have all the chests in this shrine. Oh. Hello. So I'm guessing... That I need... To take the blocks up here. Can't reach that one. Can't even reach that one. Do I need to grab one as the ball's rolling? That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, let me, let me do this. Attempt to get this to work. 
Okay, so... Let's just drop that now. Let's grab... Oh, let's grab that. Let's yank that up there. And that should work. Right? Right. Right? Hopefully I don't need two. Because I'm... Missed? I'm... I'm... I am missed. Nice to meet you. Well, that's a shame. I, I wish I could see what I'm doing. Let me get that a little bit more forward. Okay, that's good. Hopefully I can reach that from here now. No, not quite. So why did the orb not go in? That's my question. Why did it not go in when he should have gone in? Okay, here we go again. Be ready for this. Okay. Send that up there. Oh, don't fall off. Please. Thank you. Okay. Now, getting this into a position that I can get across with is the trickier part, probably. Oh, dear. I hope that this works, because if not, I'm going to have to restart. <gasps> oh, magic happens. An H core, and that's everything in the shrine. Oh, no. Well, so that's very pixelated, I just realized. Yep. Yep. Let's just put that back there. And then let's go get Orb. Orb. Let's go get Orb. Please go up the ladder. Oh, I don't need to go up the ladder. I need to just go this way. I know what I'm doing. Please grab Orb. Thank you. Just gonna throw that over there. And it should work. Oh, please don't fall off. Thank you. There we go. Why do I hear a horse screaming in pain? Oh, there's a ah, shooting star. And not that far away, actually. Let me try going to get that. I, I want to stay here and get the stable stuff done, but I, I also want to get stars when they ever, whenever they fall. Or whenever they winter. That works too. Oh, I, uh, I hope I can actually get that. It doesn't look like it's that far away, but it, it's also not on the path. But I think I can get it. Please. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna take on a moose now, apparently. So can I get some of these? I don't know if they're luminous. No, they're not luminous. Okay. I, I need luminous stone, so I'm gonna be looking around for those at some point. Okay, we're close now. Let's just go off the track. Oh, also... Also dragon. We haven't seen a dragon yet. We heard music from one before. But yeah, that is that is one of the three dragons that roam parts of Hyrule. Let me get out my camera for it. Because I want to camera it. Let's grab that star fragment. And let's take a look. Dinral. It looks so cool. 
Oh, hello, fire keys. Probably should have taken a picture of one of those, actually. Now, is it going to come close enough for us to see it closer? No, it's still really high up. We can hear the music, though. We heard the music for it, uh, like, just after the Yuka Clan hideout, I believe. Oh, speaking of Yuka Clan hideout, there's just so many monsters just spawning in all the time. Oh my goodness, I nearly killed him. Which would have been a good thing, but still. Grab some of that rupee. Now where is it? Way over there. I might actually... I don't know if it's going to despawn if I do this, but I'm going to go over to the Hebra Tower. Also, Hebra Tower is usually a good spot to, um, just wait for it. Uh, it despawned into... Ah. Uh, that's a shame. It's very rare to see one, so... Oh well. Let's head over to the forest again. Oh, the Sheikah Sensor Plus can detect objects that are... Oh, that they're in your Hyrule Compendium. Okay. The way the Sheikah Sensor, I was thinking stasis. Okay, no mind. Anyway, let's change. And then I'm probably also going to need to uh, go get my actual heart from the goddess statue up here, so... It's so close. I just... Ah, so close. Okay. Heart container? Yes. There we go, number 12. And this is like the lowest I would think you could get it at. So... Let's see. A true hero will probably need more than just enough, but still. Nope. <sighs> well, that's a shame. Anyway, that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.